Good morning, Pipsqueaks! It's 9.25 on the East Coast, 6.25 on the West Coast, and it's time for some Coffee Crossing. And I'm frozen! Mainly because my phone's only got 20% power, and for some reason, while I'm streaming, it won't charge! So I may have to cut it short if my battery, if my phone dies in the middle of the stream. <laughs> well, let's get as much done as we can. And go ahead and head on over to Fog Harbor and visit with our friends in Animal Crossing because, yeah, that's why you're here. And I did come back after my stream and did some terraforming and I can sh I'll show you that in a little bit. Whew. I don't know what happened last night. My... I woke up and my battery was at like 20%. And I've tried charging it. I don't know if my phone's a pro there's a problem with my phone or what. <laughs> 
You can obtain stone and iron nuggets by striking a rock with a shovel or an axe. Really? I never knew that, did you? <laughs> like, we haven't been playing this game for over 160 episodes. Good morning, everyone. Oh, good morning, Isabel. Oh, you just make me so happy. Uh, right now in Fog Harbor, it's 8.27 a.m. on Wednesday, March 1st. 2023. Yes, we're out of February. Woo! On to spring! Oh, someone recently asked me for advice, and I thought it would be a good idea to share it with everyone. They wanted to know what to do if they ever found someone passed out on the beach. Hmm. Why would she ask? Why would somebody ask something like that? I wonder. If that happens, speak to them. Make sure they're okay. Do it several times if necessary. Be persistent. Then offer to help with anything they need. We all must do our part to keep the asylum safe. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Okay, I'm working on something real quick. All right, there we go. I've got my backup set up just in case. Okay. Wow! From Jolly Red, uh, like the you, uh, quaint painting. Um, is this the real one or the fake? I think this is the real one. I'll have to double check. No, I bought the fake. I did buy the fake. Place that in pocket. Okay. From the bank of Nook. My interest rate dicking in. From Samson. Yo, Cedar. So I had this dream. I was playing baseball on the moon and it was snowing protein powder and the hoop was made of fish and then I won and was crowned king of the moon muscle of moon muscle city. Anyway, I got you this. Dream Athlete Samson. It's going to be a shame. He's leaving today. From Mom. Our, our monthly gift from Mom. Like a cheap candle, the snow is melting fast. Replaced by lovely flowers and plants. Well, I don't seem to find that happening whenever a candle burns down, but okay. Spring sure knows how to make an entrance. Two can play the melting game, Mom. Okay. From Dodo Airlines. Uh, just wanted to thank you for flying Dodo Airlines. We know you don't have a lot of options, but thanks for choosing us all the same. We hope you enjoy this bit of custom DAL merch. From your pals at Nifty, right? From your pals at Dodo Airlines. Wonder what this is. And Luna tickets. Of course. Okay. Uh. That's the quaint painting. A football from uh, Samson. Mom's candle set. Interesting choice. From DAL, we got a DAL backpack! And of course, the dream tickets. I'll go ahead and just move that there. Hello, Lunar Republic! Welcome to the channel! I hope you enjoy your stay. Hello, Dodo Eats. May I take your order? Um. Oh, wait. That's right. I planted this yesterday. Look, I dug up a Sproinoid. All right.
Let's see. Actually, hold on. How much of this can I put away? Okay. Let me go over here. No, not that. Let's deposit... Deposit 5,000. Then we can go over here and... Put away to 5,000 and we got our 10,000 for our glowy spot! Now we gotta find the glowy spot. Oh. Okay, uh, well I didn't say anything! I kind of laughed at the whole... Dodo Eats. Let's see. Do we gotta find the glowy spot? Let me know if you see the glowy spot. Ah, I see. Oh, hello. These two are talking. Let's see. We're going to continue doing the spring cleaning thing, yeah? But right now, I'm looking for the glowy spot. Uh, has anybody seen it yet? Have I missed it? Let's see. Yes. I have way too many flowers. I let my flowers just grow out of control. And because of that, I'm going to be going through and tearing up a lot of these flowers. Yeah. I bought a boatload of garbage cans. Oh, hello. We got a gyroid fragment. And there's the bottle. Still no sign of the glowy spot, though. Let's see. What have we got in the bottle? Whilst taking a much-needed hot bath, my mind dreamed up the most fabulous idea for a DIY recipe. Of course, I believe great ideas such as mine must be shared. Please, bring this recipe to life. Uh, sincerely... Petri. A bamboo shelf. I already know this one, so it's going to be placed here. Yeah, it would be. It really would. Let's see. Let's see, go ahead and dig this up. Let's see. Still no sign of the glowy spot. Let's see. Yeah, that's a citrus longhorn beetle. I already have that one. Oh! It must have rained it must have rained yesterday while well, after I got after I went offline. Let's see. Honestly, we can hold we can completely bypass this because as you can see, it's all weeds. And um weeds and things. Double check that though. So, yeah. We can bypass that. Let's see. My failed moss patch. Let's see, nope.
We have all this area to look for the glowy spot now, though. See, I came back, I terraformed the cliffs a little bit, and put this path around to keep these flowers in check. Hey, wait a minute! Something's wrong with my road! Let me fix that. Oh! Now I got this pothole to fix. Well, maybe if I throw money at it, it'll fix itself. You know how the government is with roadworks. I didn't know that, um... I didn't know that the glowy spot could appear in the middle of a dirt road. Maybe I should replace it with rocks. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Take care of this. Uh, chop, chop, chop. Ah. Uh, what country would that be? Would that be the UK? Um, somewhere in Europe? The Netherlands, okay. Dig that up, and go ahead and plant you. There we go. And let's tidy up our inventory a little bit. There we go. And... Put a few things away before we head down to residential services. Actually, we don't want to put that away. Would I like to hear what? Oh! I just- Oh, I just gave you an idea for your island? Sure, I'd love to hear it! What's it- what, what What's the idea? Let's see. We'll go talk to Jitters. I mean, not... Well, no. We'll go talk to the a, to the Nook Stop and bring Jitters over, who will be moving onto the island today and taking Samson's place. Welcome to Nook Stop! All right. First, let's look at Nook Shopping... KK Bossa. I don't know if I have it. I'll double check later. Aw, that does sound cute. I might do that. Alright, first... Uh, okay, but we're going to invite somebody over. We're going to invite Jitters over for a third and final time. Alright. That's Jitters, Amiibo! Would you like to invite him to the campsite? Sure. I might do that! Yes, yes. I know it sounds silly, but... Jitters! Skiing pro, part-time boulder lifter, full-time flexor! What's up? Huh? Visit your campsite? Well, sure! I'll swim over as soon as I finish my protein shake. Dessert? I don't think you drink protein shakes, boy. I think you're hopped up on caffeine. 
that sweet, sweet roost roast. And I don't blame you. Brewster makes a mean cup of coffee. Okay. Knock, knock. Oh, wait, you don't knock on a tent door, apparently. Hey, Jitters. I just got back from a short 23 mile jog. That's a marathon, you dummy. When you invited, when, when your invite showed it up. Thanks, Berserk. <laughs> I figured if I was going to test my limits. I need to get away from the comforts of home, Bazert. Except I didn't know I'd end up homesick for my row machine. This place is such mighty style. Hey, you know what would look cool? A kettlebell. I could make that for you. Whoa, seriously? You'd, that'd be so awesome. I'm leaving tomorrow, and no matter how hard I looked, I couldn't find the right Fog Harbor souvenir. This is going to be great! Thanks so much! Thank you so much, Berserk! A kettlebell. Well, I know what a kettle is, and I know what a bell is. And they're both made out of metal, so I guess I'm going to need iron for this. Let's get something out. I, I, I hope this is enough iron. I mean, bells tend to be small. I mean, kettles are rather large, and I built a cauldron. Let's see. Let's craft. Let's see... Kettlebell... Kettle... Oh! That's a kettlebell! Okay, hey! Looks more like a bell clacker to me, but hey. And it takes five iron, alright. Let's do it! I made a kettlebell! Okay, let's keep crafting. No, we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. He is a jock, and jocks like to lift heavy things, so... yeah. Hey, are you still working on my kettlebell? Nope, I'm all done. Here, you can have it. It's almost as heavy as this bag of bells that I have. This is just so cool. How could I ever thank you? How could I... How could I ever thank everyone? I know! I'm going to come up with a whole new workout routine in honor of Fog Harbor. It's going to involve using a shovel to dig up as many flowers as you can. <laughs> or, I guess I could just give you my gym tea. Enjoy, Bessert! Considering what he does, I don't know. And you know what? I'm still going to come up with a new workout routine in honor of Fog Harbor. This place is too cool not to. Okay. Well, let him put out his kettlebell. Because that's just a nice thing. That's just a cool thing to do. Let him show off the new thing. And then... I just can't believe someone made me made something for me. That, this means a lot. I really want to pay him back, but I don't have anything, Berserk. Uh, you will if you move here. Whoa, are you serious? I mean, living here would really help me take things to another level after that. After next. To the level after next. Okay, I'm in. I'll call resident services and work it out with them. Back. 
Bad news. I checked with resident services and they said moving here was a no-go. Basically, there's not enough room on the island for both me and my scary huge arms, Berserk. Although, they did say if someone moved out, I could move in. Uh, mind if I try and strike a deal with someone? Go for it. Can I do? Resident Service has actually told me a few folks to talk to. Who would you start with, Bizzert? I would start with Samson. Jock for jock, same for same. Talk to Samson about moving, you sure? Yes. All right, I'm on it. Maybe they'll say no, but there's no harm in asking. And the ominous music starts playing. <laughs> well, I went... Well, that went great. The instant that Samson saw me com coming, he started packing up. I barely even had to speak. I went over, told him the situation, showed off my arms some, and that was that. He seemed really nice. Kind of nervous, though. I hope he likes his new home, Berserk. Anyway, what's your name again? Cedar, right? You see her? See her around, Cedar. Okay. And now we have Jitters on our island. Which is kind of cool. Jitters is a permanent of one of my, uh, one of the people I started following years ago. Yeah, and okay, here's the god. Here's the um, monster couple, and of course, ah, giving the villagers their gifts right now. Okay, good. It's still early for me. Oh, that's right. I need to go over to Harb's Island. Actually, hold on. While I'm here. Let's see. KK Bossa. I do have KK Bossa. Good thing I didn't buy it. I love Orville and Wilbur. They're a couple of good guys. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Fog Harbor Airport! How can I help you out today? I want to fly. Roger! So, just to get the paperwork all official, where'd you want to go? Uh, I want to go to Harv's Island. Harv's Island? Roger that, good buddy! I can set you up right now, but are you packed? Ready? All packed and stuff? Yep, let's go. Alright, let's get you airborne. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower. Wilbur, you copy? I got a walker and need a wings, over. Roger, ready when you are. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just like, what would Dodos do? I still want to put that on a shirt. Or a coffee mug. Coffee mug would be cool. And it'd be fitting with my theme. Touchdown like learning stuff in a jewelry box. We are parked and proud. Okay, that's not as weird as you'd think. Give a quack to wing back. Oh, poop. I just realized I put that fake painting in my storage. I gotta get that out to throw it away. Okay. I can't tell, but I think that might be real. I think we might have two real paintings on our hands today. This one? Ahem, <clears throat> I've got to get into character. Excuse me. <clears throat> I won't lie. An awful lot of folks have been asking about buying that wistful painting there. But maybe the price scared them off. So I'll sell it to you for 4,980 bells. 
Deal of the spring. You in? Well, I'm going to take a closer look. Because I'm not sure if this one is... Oh, this is a fake. This one's a fake, too. Because she's got a star on her ear. It's hard to tell. No, wait. That is the real one. That is just a pearl. That's part of her uh, neckline, I think. Let me double check. I know the real one doesn't... I know the fake one has a star. Now, what one was it? Which, which one was this again? What's the name of this one again? Oh, Lord. I think this is a fake because I think it's supposed to be a star. But... No, that's not the Serene painting. Not the quaint painting. Ah, it's the wistful painting. Okay, that is the fake. And apparently there's a version with her eyes closed. Either way, it's a fake. So, we're going to go ahead and buy it. Sorry, I didn't mean to be evil that whole time. <laughs> <clears throat> Back to character. Admiring the details can't blame you. It's extremely detailed. Brilliant stuff. And the best part? All that detail could be yours for just 4,980 bells. <laughs> I'll go ahead and buy it. Ha! You're not going to regret this. I'll just take those bells from you. Yes, it's all there. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of a wistful painting. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, cousin. I'll get your artwork packed up and shipped out tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, now... Well, 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 you're looking spry, Cedar. What do you need? I want to get some items out of storage. Specifically, I'm going to try and find that art piece. Wait, it would be... Here. Okay, there it is. Ooh, I got a bunch of fakes here that I need to get rid of. Two of the Serene paintings? And that's a poster of Fauna somebody sent me for some reason. But now she's on my island, so I'm going to get the real picture. Anything else you need? Nope, I'm good. If you say so, Sprout! <laughs> or... Okay. Train wreck coffee cake is reporting. Tango swimming is go. Do you require assistance? Over. Not really. But... I would like to go home. You want to bust Bunsen burners and bounce back to Orange Town? Yes. Roger, let's pack snacks and make tracks. Do you know how you can tell you've been playing Animal Crossing too long? When you can actually start 
understanding what the villagers are saying. That's not even a joke. Let's see. Where should we start today? I know where we should start uh, doing the cleanup today. I know exactly where. We're going to start doing the cleanup up here because I need to clean up around the bamboo. I need to clean up around the bamboo so I can start collecting the spring, the young spring bamboo to make things like the noodle slide. Actually? Yeah, let me toss something real quick. Um... All of these, which are fakes, which is why they were in my storage. Let's see. And I really should... I should... Whoa! Oh, sorry about that, Callie! <laughs> Let's see. Yeah? Okay. We'll just bury this real quick. And water it. Okay. Now we're only going to need eight gifts. Let's get something out first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's. We'll go with the cerulean wrapping paper because I happen to have eight of them. Okay. No, wait, 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 wait. Let's go talk to Blathers and get them verified first. Get them identified first. Do 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 do. Me! It's always me! Pod oh dear, pardon me. Good morning, Cedar. Welcome to the Fog Harbor Museum. How may I be of service? Uh, I'd like you to assess some fossils. Oh, what would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, more than what I see. Let's just take a look, shall we? Yes, indeed. Quite splendid. Alas, our museum already has fossils such as these. I'm indeed tempted to purchase them for my own collection. But no, I must exercise restraint and return them to you now. Why to help you with anything else? No, that'll be all. Jolly good! Please enjoy the rest of your visit. Okay. We'll go ahead and wrap this up.
I haven't even left and he's already fallen asleep. Jeebus. I don't see how he could run this museum if he sleeps all day. Hello. Ah, morning's neat. Yes, they are. Do you want this? Oh, what are you giving me? I'm giving you this. What's inside? I'm gonna look. Oh, neat. It's a spino skull. Wow. Thank you so many bunches. Here, Cedar. Sasha's photo! For, just for you, Hoppity! No! No, not the bestest boy! He just got here! Or at least that's how it feels! Oh, dear. Okay. Ah, my battery's at 10%. Hi there, my fabulous bestie! Thanks for chatting with me. Here's a gift. Oh, what is it? What could it be? I'm gonna sing while I open it. Oh! Uh, that word! Oh my gosh, are you sure I can have this? Thank you so much! Here, I'll trade you. It's some colorful mosaic tile flooring. And I hear you love those. I can't believe the be the goodest boy is going already. Cedar, hey, nice to see you. This is for you. Oh, wow, really? Yes, really. Can I go ahead and open this? A Trillobite! You gave me a Pokemon! What a treasure! I love fossils! Thank you so much! Woo! As a thank you, please take my square glasses. Wow, I'm, I'm just... Well, let's go ahead and rip the band-aid off. This is going to be tough. He's been with us a while. Hey, Samson. Hey, Cedar. Can you, you could probably tell, but I'm moving out. Yeah, I know. I'm glad you stopped by, though. It just wouldn't feel right if we didn't compare biceps one last time. I'll never forget you and your amazing delts, Pipsqueak. I promised I won't cry. I won't cry. I won't cry. I, I won't cry. I won't cry. I won't cry. I won't. Aww. Darn it! I cried. I cried! I've got to be strong, though. It is all part of the game! And here's Fauna. Oh, I love the inside of her house. Very simple, but nice. Thanks for coming by, dearie. Uh, do you want this? For me, really? Mind if I open this up right now? A T-Rex torso. That's really thoughtful of you. What a treasure! I love fossils! Thank you so much, dearie! Here, I want you to have my thick striped shirt.
Okay, let's check in on Blair. Hey! Marty's here too! It looks like I need to step up my hosting game. Marty stopped by too, Nutlet! Here's a gift. Aw, oh, you shouldn't have. I'm just glad he sat on the floor. Ooh, I can't wait to see what's inside. Wow, is this really an ar anthropithesis? Or ostropithesis? How exquisite! Thank you so much for a lovely gift, Nutlet. How can I thank you? Ah, why don't you take the reward of a tailored jacket? Okay. Hey, funny seeing you here! This is for you. Huh? What is it? I swear, if they both go... Both lazies go at the same time, I'm going to be surprised. I wonder what's inside. I'm gonna open it! Oh! This is a Plazio tail! Wow! Thank you so many bunches! I wanna thank you. Here, man, some oval glasses. I hope you like it, Pom-Pom! Why couldn't you leave and Sasha could stay? Okay, we got Marty, we got Penelope. Let's go visit the old fossil and give him an old fossil. It's Walt, ladies and gentlemen. The Samurai Kangaroo. Oh, and he's building! Careful where you're going, okay? Don't be knocking all my stuff over. What are you doing? What? This thing? I'm making a pretty cosmos reef. It's tough, but if but I've got ages of patience. Reckon you need that to be in the DIY pockets. Want to try making a pretty cosmos wreath? The pretty cosmos wreath I came up with? Yeah, I can run you through the basics. Ain't nothing to it. Sure, why not? Okay then, I wrote some instructions down here. Follow them to the letter and everything should work out. Shouldn't be too much, too tough to make pockets. I bet it's a cinch for you, Sita! Hey! What can I do for you? Uh, do you want this? Hmm? You're giving me something! Yes. I'm giving a fossil a fossil. I can't wait to see what's inside! Oh! A brachio tile! What a splendiferous relic! I'm glad to take it off your hands. Thanks, Pockets. I ain't nothing free in this world, so as a thank you, take some blue camo flowering. All right. And... Finally? Carlos! Surely, I was hoping to run into you. I was hoping to run into you too. But don't call me Shirley. For me, I can't surprise. <clears throat> now, what do we have here? I can't even pronounce that. Huh? You know me so well. I think Blathers already has something like this in his collection. I know he does. I gave it to him. Fortunately, I'm a collector myself. Of course, I I, my specialty is shoes, but yeah. You know, I can't accept this without giving you something in return. Let's see. How would you feel about a jumper work suit? Okay, okay. 
All right. That is everyone. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop this photo off with my curator. Wait a second. Something's wrong here. Oh, that's right. This picked rose is just sitting here and it needs to be in the trash can. That's exactly what's wrong. Okay. Let's learn this. Um, okay. Sweet, I learned a DIY for a pretty Cosmos Reef. Now, we'll go up here. And then up here. And I'm going to drop the photo of Sasha here to be given to my curator when I wake her up. Now then, time for some spring cleaning. And you know what? For now, because my phone's about to die, apparently. Oh, wait, we can't do Project Screen Splint Cleaning yet. Because there's a... There's something I can't... There's something going on right now I can't do when there's somebody else on the island. I just remembered. I got a washed up old pirate I got to push back out in the water. Let's see if it works. Yo ho, yo ho, pirate sounds, etc. You know what? I'm going to do something I didn't think I'd have to do. We're going back in time, folks. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh dear! Wait. Hold on. Okay. It's there. Oh lord, it stopped responding. Oh dear. Well, let's go back to... Let's go back to this for as long as I can. But yeah, if you whack him though, I won't be able to get him off my island. You can whack him when he's alive. And awake. Yar. Hey! Wow, that didn't take long at all. Arr! Have at ye, Cortez! Three swords and a hook! Let's! Make this a fair duel. I'll tie one wing behind me back. Har, I, huh? Blimey! It was a dream. I was in the midst of a fierce pirate battle with one of me greatest rivals. Arr. 
Say, if it isn't Seer! Good to see me again! Good to see you again, Skipper! Sorry I came out swinging! Didn't mean to give you a scare! Matter of fact, I was. <laughs> it was a few practice swings for me! Fearful fisticuffery! That sent me tumbling overboard! Oh dear. <laughs> he was practice fighting and he fell over! Great! Now I gotta message me buccaneer buddies from another for another rescue. Well, actually, I know a guy who's got a boat who might be able to help. So long as I've got me trusty old communicator, I'll be just uh. Oh my gosh! Me trusty communicator is gone and vanished. Arr! Those waves bobbed me around like an inflatable beach ball. The thing must have slipped out of me pockets. That means I'm lost at sea! I'll have to wait for me buccaneer buddies to find me on their own! Like I said, there's a guy down the beach with a boat. He's willing to help you. Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth? That could take quite a bit of time, and I'm still workshopping me pirate puns, so those are sure to run out fast. I'm begging ye, matey, will ya help me find me communicator? Sure, I'll look for it. Ugh. Really? Why, you're even sweeter than the famous Captain Syrup. But without her double crossing, I hope. Me gut says me communicators in a nearby ocean. Maybe it's behind you. Me crew is surely searching for me, so I should keep lookout. Got to be on land for that, you savvy. That means it's up to ye to swim around and find me communicator. I'm counting on you, matey. Oh, and make sure there's room in your pockets before you hunt. You don't. Else you'll be blundering your plundering. Oh, well, in that case. What should I do? I'm going to put some things away. I'll put away my extra shovel for now. Um, and... Get into my... Get into me wetsuit. Put that there. Okay. Come on. Oh, come on! Let's try this again. Ta da! Backflip cannonball! Let's see. Steady bubbles. It's the right size, it's not moving. Hey, I found it first try! <laughs> Isn't that a hoot? I love it when I find it first try. Okay. Yar, have you found it yet? Yar, I found it yet. Arr! That's it! That's me precious communicator! Ta-da! Flourish! Thank you with all me heart, matey! With extra cherries on top, even! 
Now I can contact me faithful crew! A vasty lily livered sand dog. Listen. A vasty lily livered sand. Sea dogs. Tis I, your beloved captain, who makes things happen. I had another bad spill, so you best change course and come pick me up. Here are me coordinates. Be quick about it, or I'll buckle your swatches for good! <clears throat> so says Captain Gullivar. R, winky face, sin. R, that oughta put some wind in our sails, and no mistake. You saved me life! That's a debt that needs repaying, so I'll ship you a fine reward soon. Expedited, yar! <coughs> ah, that takes a load off. Nothing left to do but wander here, wander this here beach and look mean. Here I go! Arr! Okay. That's the important part taken care of. Now... To get Matty over here so we can start working on cleaning up the beach. I know you wanted to whack him. I know it's fun to beat. Uh, it, it, I know it's fun to beat a washed-up old pirate. But hey, hey, hey! Welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Fog Harbor Airport. How can I help you out today? I want visitors. You want to invite somebody from a nearby island on local play, or from a far-off island on with via online play? Online play. Because Maddie is I know, I know, it's so much fun to play pinata with the dead sea with the dead seagull. Gotcha, let me connect you to you to the old internet for some online play then. The old internet? I wanna use the new internet. Speaking of the new internet. So, who do you want to invite? Um, only my best friends, because they have the ability to use shovels. Alright, here we go! Open in the gates now! Let's... Change out of that, and there. Okay, we're just for gardening. I know. I know I'm a spoil sport. Okay. Looks like someone's on their way here. I'm guessing it's Maddie. And while Maddie is on her way... I'm going to... There we go. I'm going to fix this real quick. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh no, don't tell me it's going to crash. Okay, good, it didn't crash. Yep, it's a blast from the past! Not very far past, but... I switched over to my PNG because I'm afraid my camera's going to die. 
I mean, I've only got like maybe 2% power left. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I was mean by not letting you be mean to the pirate. All right. Oops. Today we're going to clean up up here. Because of this problem here. You can't get bamboo. I can't get bamboo. with all the flowers. <laughs> hey, Mayflower! Yes, we're doing we're doing island cleanup. We're doing spring cleaning. You want to come over and help? Island's open to my best friends. Also, I switched back to my old to my old rig because my phone's about to die. Got to love technology. It won't let me use my iPhone as my uh, camera. Ah! My shovel! I broke me shovel! But yes, I have trash cans all over the island. Oh, that's a shame. Why can't you come over? Oh, I got a I got more than just the three shovels. Let's see. Ah. Okay. Oh, you got school. Blarg. Okay. Well, thanks for coming by. Thanks for checking in, though. We cleaned up a pretty good piece of the island yesterday. This is basically a long-term project. This is gonna take this up. Proper this is gonna be a proper spring cleaning. Literally. Because it's probably gonna take all spring to get all of these flowers up. Okay. But yeah, we're doing a lot of cleaning. And yeah, this is... Oh! My meat pockets are full! Uh, swap it. With... That there. But yeah, we got a lot of work cut out for us. I have let these flowers just literally run wild this entire time. It has gotten to the point of absolute ridiculousness. So I bought a bunch of garbage bins and
and set them up all over the island. See, there's one down there. I've got like it just. I picked up that metal trash can from the um from the nooks, and that's what gave me the idea. Just buy a bunch of garbage cans. I mean, we could sell these. And, I mean, I could sell all these flowers. And, oh, looks like someone else is on their way here. I wonder who it is. And I hope they've brought a shovel to help. It's Chad! Wait a minute! But he's not here in the chat! Maybe he's... I don't know why... He, I mean... I'm not surprised that he's coming over, but he's not in chat. Hey, there you are, Chad. Yes, thanks for coming to help. We're digging up flowers and doing some spring cleaning. Don't you just love it when the lag cut when the lag kicks in and all of a sudden you just spin your shovel? We're digging up mums, Chad. Hop on up! Yeah. You can't dig up... You can't dig up flowers with a... Sh you can't dig up flowers with a, uh, with a net. What the? That was weird. Yes, I let them grow. That's what plants tend to do. Oops, sorry. My pockets are full. Uh, buried again. Well, the mums were the flowers that were here originally. I just never took the time to get them under control when I first got on the island. I should have. It's why the mums are the big prop. Are, are the big... Pro what the? That was weird. I mean... I don't want to get rid of all of them. 
We've got to keep. I got to make some actual flower beds. But Lord, you know, with three people doing this, this is going. This is going fast. Aha, I did. I was right. Oh, okay. Oh, now it covers it. Not, you're probably right. My island does need a bit of a makeover. You know what? Maybe I can make it a contest. Make it a contest. Um, it'll be people who are on my Discord only. And the contest is basically... Draw up a um, layout for the new island. And the one that, and then we'll put it up, I'll put it up for a vote. Okay, I think that's all the flowers from down here. Oh, darn it. What I want to do is this. Now I can... You can make up a map of what you want the island to look like. Like where do you want the house like where you want houses put, things like that. If you want to um There goes my stone axe. I don't really need it though, do I? I guess I do. Okay. So. So, question. Guys, question. Keep doing, keep digging up flowers, or do you want to go ahead and call it for the day and um, go ahead and have coffee?
keep digging up flowers or go for coffee? Okay, Chad votes. Okay. More digging. All right, we're digging up around the museum. I'm going to pick that up first. And I'm going to just pick these weeds. You don't have to dig up the weeds. You can actually just pick these. Oh, I'm sure they do. Yeah, the weeds will return, but you don't have to dig them up. You can just pick them. Ah, oh, my pockets are full. Go ahead and bury it again. Uh. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I just want to clean it all up first. I mean, it used to be just all open land. So... Not sure what I want to do with what what with it yet. I'll figure it out. But I have so many mums. I mean, it was bordering on insane how many. Well, I have a pool area. I already have a pool.
I don't really have the items to set up a carnival. I might actually do that. I might actually set up... I might, I might try building a coffee shop. You know... A place like I want to have. Well, I don't want to make my island a city. I want it to feel like an island. Because, well... I have friends who try and rebuild an the old animal. I have one friend who likes to rebuild the old Animal Crossing games in this version of Animal Crossing. Um, I have people who have put together like multiple uh, accounts on their island so that they could make the different houses into um, places. Oh, I thought that got I thought that side got done already. I thought this part was done already. I'm sorry. Okay, that's everything from here. All right. I got a feeling Chad's looking for wasps and I got a bad I got bad news for him. It ain't going to work on this island. He's not going to be able to find wasps on the island. I've tried this before on other people's islands. For some reason, when you're on someone else's island, wasps do not spawn. Okay. Do you want to keep digging or do you want to go ahead and stop for coffee? Okay, leave the pink lilies. Okay. All right. Also leave the black ones. Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? Rather than leaving the pink lilies... I'll go ahead and dig up the pink lilies and place them somewhere else. Okay. Get something out.
Okay. I'll go ahead and collect the pink lilies and move them. Let's see. If I got all pink lilies, I got some pink mums. Uh, okay. Let's see. I will move the pink lilies. Over here. All right. They are a pair of apparently Maddie has an idea. For something to do with the, um, to do with the pink lilies. So I think that's all the pink ones from here. All right. We're only doing lilies for now. Those roses, um, Okay, Chad. Thanks for the help. Let's see. You know what? I'll go ahead and throw away those sticks, too. Might as well. But yeah, I've got a pair, a pair, I, I've, I've decided for the fun of it. 
In fact, it's because... Someone else started doing role playing on their. We're doing was doing role playing on their island with different paintings and stuff. That I was I made the monster and robot hero friends, but then monster then the monster got a girlfriend. And Robot Hero was feeling like a third wheel. So the monster couple, they decided, you know what? Let's find, for, on Valentine's Day, they worked together and found Robot Hero, a girlfriend. Robot Heroine. She's pink. And so we're going to build a special place just for the two of them, surrounded by pink lilies, apparently. They're currently standing in a weed patch. That'll be fixed. Well, uh, no, actually, he's blue. He changed over to blue because he thought it would look better with her being pink. So I was thinking... They're kind of hard to find, but... Pink lilies and blue roses? How's that sound? No, there aren't blue lilies, but we could do pink lilies and blue roses. Thing is, I'm going to have to let the blue roses grow wild. That's going to be kind of tough. I'll have to plant I'll have to actually set up an area. Okay, let's go ahead and I mean, yes, I could sell all of these. But if I were to sell all of these flowers we were digging up, it would get ridiculous. Now then. Woo. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and dig up this blue rose. Oh, very nice. And that blue rose. I don't think I have any other blue roses. Because all the roses I originally planted all got choked off over here. So I'm going to come over here. Plant. 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 And then I'm going to... 
Water the blue roses. Oh, hello. Fossil assessment? All right. Flower tender! Uh, if you encourage floral growth by showering the island's flowers with water, I encourage you your growth by showering you with Nook Miles! Ha 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 ha! Funny! Alright. I think... Oh! Pick a bunch? Oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna have to come over here and water these blue flower these blue roses to get them to grow. See, on my old island... On my original island, I actually set up flower beds for each and for each type of flower all walled off by roads and whenever I got a new kind of flower or found a new color I just go over there and plant them so I had like one of each color You broke a shovel! Hold on. Hold on a second. Are do you do you have a spare shovel? Oh good, you did have a spare shovel, good. Okay, that's good. Oh, you're going to get two more shovels, huh? Okay. Oops. I didn't mean to pick those. Darn it. Yep, always be prepared. You'd think I'd do that since I'm a I'm a Boy Scout. My pockets are already full. Uh, I'm gonna swap it.
Yes, let's go ahead and... Good, you got it. Wait. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and climb up here and... Drop this back off. Hey! Mardities, yes. It has been a while. It's... I completely understand that you haven't been around. That's that's fine. I'm, I'm just going to drop... Well... Weird. All right, I'll just there we go. I say we go ahead. Okay. Thank you very much, Marty. Mart. Martides. But yeah, and, and good luck on your exams. And as for us, I think it's time for coffee. I'm going to have to come over here and like pick and like dig up all those black roses and move them somewhere. Move them somewhere so that they can actually. Move them someplace where they can grow more gold flowers, gold, gold roses. I put them in a place where they kind of got stifled. All right, I'll just call you Marty, yeah. Right, that's two cups of coffee. So, four in the bells total. How will you be paying? I'm going to cover it. Understood. You'll be paying for everyone, Sita. You'll be paying for everyone. I'll have those out in a moment. Thanks for waiting. Here are your drinks. I completely missed that. Oh yeah, nothing beats relaxing with a cup of coffee f with and some friends. Cool, thank you very much. Yes.
Okay. Well, I you know I stream every morning. Well, I, well, it's morning my time. Um, if I'm right, it sh if let's see, it's nighttime where you are. That would put you around um somewhere in the Pacific. Marty, and I I want to call you Marty, but then I've got a Marty on my island, and that's going to get confusing. <laughs> you don't go around calling everybody Pom Pom, do you? Well, Maddie, thanks for coming by and helping out. I'm going to do a little bit of terraforming after the stream. You're welcome, Maddie. It's the least I can do for all the help you gave me. Marie or Marina? Marie would be good. Ah, oh, darn it. She's leaving before I could give her the Viva. Marina? <laughs> Marina might get awkward later because there's a villager named Marina. And I don't think you're an octopus, are you? I wanted to give her the Viva before she left. Well, let's go ahead and close down the island. Um, please close the gates. All right. We ain't got nobody here, so no problem. Wait, is he doing a crossword puzzle? No, no, he, he's doing a word search. That's a word search. It looks like a word search on his, um... That looks like a word search on his, uh, clipboard there. I like doing word searches. They're fun. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap things up. I had to... I literally had to, uh... I literally had to go retro, um... Marie, I actually have a um, Live 2D model, but my phone started to die on me for some reason. Why am I, why am I coming up here? Yeah, that's where a lot of the flowers were, and we cleared that out yesterday. But, yeah... Um, maybe if you show up earlier, you can come and help me clean up the island. Should I get some sleep? Yeah, I should sleep. I want to sleep. Yes, sleep is good. Welcome, welcome. The binary fields are teeming with beautiful dreams. How may I be of assistance? Uh, about my island's dream. I have a dream of Fog Harbor filed under this dream address. Well, let's update it. We did a lot of work. It deserves to be updated. As a precaution, I must first confirm you wish to update the dream of Fog Harbor. Are you certain? Yes. Let's update. Splendid, I shall now connect to the internet in the Library of Dreams. Oh, 
Close your eyes. Picture what you love most about Fog Harbor. Relax. Relax. There, the dream update is now complete. Each bite feels renewed and refreshed. Well done. Your dream of Fog Harbor is still filed under the same dream address. May the dream of Fog Harbor host many happy visitors. May I be of assistance in any other way? Nope, I just want to wake up. I see. Please come again. You are welcome at any time. And now, we're going to go ahead and wrap up and head on back to the coffee shop. Although, the coffee shop doesn't look nearly as good as it does with my other, um, with my new, with my new model. Yep. Well, that was a that was a long day. We took care of a lot of the flowers. I had Maddie and my friend Chad come over to help. That was good. We got to catch up with Marie or Marty or however she wants to pronounce her name. And we've got Jitters moving to the island. I expect to see him in the coffee shop an awful lot. Well, as always, before I end the show, here's my friend code in case you want to toss me a friend request and you can send and you can come over and help me clean up my island. <laughs> well, before I go, two very important pieces of advice. One, stay hydrated. It's good for your health, especially with the, with the weather starting to warm up. And two, no matter what anybody ever tells you, always be you. I'll see you tomorrow. Same Coffee Crossing time. Same Coffee Crossing channel.